Hey friends, Jill and Nate here. Welcome back to Whispering Willow Farm. It is the day before Christmas. It is. It's a couple, actually it's a couple days before Christmas. You guys will be seeing this the day before Christmas. <laughs> Nathan's mom and dad are in town. Uh, they actually watched the kids for us last night and I surprised him with a little night in Little Rock. Heck yeah. We ate at a fancy steakhouse and got up and had good coffee. It was a great night. It was. Now, yeah, it was a lovely little kid-free evening. Now we're back on the farm trying to do chores. I'm about to start baking a bunch of things, but I thought we'd just take you guys around for this little Christmas vlog. Look at this massive oh head of broccoli. God. That is huge. Mindy, <laughs> I have been, oh man. I mean, I've been look making at that. really good casseroles with broccoli lately. That's crazy. That's what I should make for you. I need to come harvest some of this. All right, I had to run inside and get some tools because we have so much broccoli and now that I've got my in-laws in town, I'm actually gonna go ahead and harvest all of it and uh, put it up. How we preserve our broccoli is we'll blanch it for a couple minutes, dip it in a bowl of ice water, and then we're just putting them in vacuum sealers. Um, that's how we always do our broccoli and it turns out really really well still tastes good uh, holds its texture pretty well so while i've got extra hands i'm going to do that um, i've just got my little harvesting machete and my house tools bucket and we will get busy I always try to like take advantage when we have people in town who are willing to help me um, also side note because i'm down here with all my little trays i have been getting tagged in so many of your guys's photos <laughs> Thank you guys so much for supporting us like this. Uh, one, this was so much fun to do. It was one of those things we've been working on for a long time. Then to see it come to light was just like, it felt so good. But then to see you guys rally behind us, partner with us in that, uh, it just meant a whole lot. So thank you guys to everyone who ordered these. Merry Christmas to you. <laughs> I hope you enjoy them. Uh, so now let's go get some broccoli. So after I harvest this, I'm actually gonna leave the plant intact uh, because a lot of times the plant will start putting off these side shoots and I'm actually seeing a lot of caterpillar damage. Um, so we're not dealing with that out in the tunnel, but out here you guys can see these caterpillars. So it's probably a good thing that I'm harvesting these right now because the plants are withstanding quite a bit of damage from these. So, so when I cut the broccoli, I guess I can just show you guys kind of what I do here. I grab my tool. You can use any type of knife uh, that you want. And this one's already starting to put off a little bit of side shoots. So I am just going down probably a couple inches. I'm gonna chop these up smaller in the house anyways when I get ready to uh, put them up. Then I'm just gonna break off any outside foliage. I will go feed that to the pigs so nothing is wasted. And then there you have, there you have it, this giant head of broccoli. And then when we go inside, I'll cut off all the little ones. Um, it's a good size. So if you don't have animals to feed uh, like the sides to, or you don't want to compost it, you can actually just break it off and lay it in your bed as like a mulch. It would be like just adding leaves or something like that. Um, the ones that, like I'm feeding most of these to the pigs, if I have any extra and I don't have a lot of worm damage, because obviously I don't want those worms to gravitate to something else in the garden, those caterpillars, then I'm just going to cut it off, let it lay, and then it's just going to add good kind of mulch and ground cover to this bed throughout the winter. Um, and just make sure that the soil is not becoming super exposed. All right, that is not a bad little harvest for today. Check that out. There you go, now you're recording. Okay. Check out the broccoli harvest. Oh my goodness. I know, isn't that awesome? My cast iron skillet is drooling right now. <laughs> 
So these are pretty standard of the size that we uh, got. They were getting quite a bit of damage, I think just because it's been super cold and then really hot all of a sudden. Um, so I am gonna leave some of these out here that aren't this big, let them get a bit bigger. This is, I think Nathan's mom was saying, our record for the hottest Christmas yet. It's supposed to be in the 80s uh, this year for Christmas. So I think the sooner I can harvest these and do something with them, probably the better. Speaking of hot. <laughs> you gave her. <laughs> this is what happens when I get the camera. Actually, I need to go get my harvesting knife, but our plan is to go inside, vacuum seal, vacuum seal these. I'm gonna show you guys that process. It is pretty easy. Um, because I didn't really know what we were going to do for this vlog, so now I found out. <laughs> So Nate has got a pot back here boiling. This is what we're gonna blanch all of the broccoli in. I'm just cutting this in whatever we prefer to eat them in. So we don't like to keep them like really big like that. So I've chopped them up just into like how we would take them and cook them for dinner. And then we have a scrap bowl that'll go out to the piggies once we're done. How long do you think we'll blanch them for? A couple minutes? So just throw them in here when it gets boiling. Then we'll transfer them to a bowl with ice uh, water. And then we'll just vacuum seal them up and then throw them in the freezer. Let them dry first. All right, you guys, thank you so much for hanging out with us in the kitchen, but Nathan and I have a lot of food to make. I am on sourdough. Um, and he is making all sorts of special meals uh, and things tonight uh, for our little family dinner. Uh, but I hope you guys have the merriest of Christmas. I hope that you are just spending time with your family and just relaxing. That's actually something we don't do very well. Uh, imagine that. But it's hard for us just to kind of like decompress and relax. But that is exactly what we have on the agenda for this weekend. But thank you guys so much for hanging out with us today. And we'll talk to you soon.